Moving from the south, it was just as breezy in the central part of Guam. For Manila resident Fan Nimisar, he wasn't taking any chances and left work Thursday night as his house is without shutters. So I tell my my boss, Miss Tess, I cannot stay because I want to help my family. Nimisar and his family of eight made their way to George Washington High School, where approximately 22 families, consisting of 142 individuals, sought shelter from Typhoon Francisco. We're very good here. All these people here, they're helping us here. They're very nice. They speak out their words to us very good. They really treat us like just a family from last night out to this morning. The same goes for Ashley Aguero, who along with 20 other family members packed their belongings and made their way to the Manilao campus. We're staying in a um, not secured home yet, so we, me and my family decided to come here, you know, this safe for the kids. Aguero says her family has stayed in shelters before. The last time was during Typhoon Pong Song Wa in 2002. She says this time around, officials were more than accommodating. We feel secure, actually. Um, these guys are really taking care of us, you know. It's like we're feeling like at home, but except they're, they stayed up the whole night watching, you know, seeing if anything's okay. And so Manila Vice Mayor Alan Ngakta, meanwhile, says the central part of Guam weathered the storm smoothly. So far, we've been uh, doing fine. Uh, we got a lot of support from, of course, uh, the other uh, uh, government agencies. Uh, Public Works has been out. GPA has been uh, very uh, good with uh, responding to our needs and stuff. And uh, of course, uh, we got flooding on uh, some areas. We got, we've been up since six, transporting these people, opening roads. Ungakta says no major damage was reported except for a few power lines that were down and some branches breaking off trees. KUAM spoke with all the Central Village mayors who all report the same information, including Barragata Mayor June Bloss. She says like most of the island, Mother Nature spared us this time around. With this storm, it's more like it's quiet. There's more wind than rain. We did experience some rain last night, but not as um, heavy as the last one we had. It was last month when the heavy rains caused major flooding within her village that led several families to evacuate their homes. Since then, her office has taken proactive measures. So all those debris and, of course, washed out roads were actually causing the drainages to, to uh, clog. But what we did was we, we just kept on trying to clean and remove all those silts. And while it's normally busy in the island's capital of Hagatnya, today was a different scene as little to no cars were seen on the road. This as the government of Guam was closed along with the judiciary of Guam and the district court of Guam as well. Hotels and restaurants in the island's tourist district meanwhile appear to be open with few tourists still making most out of the rainy and windy weather. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.